Hello and welcome to the channel, welcome back to another video. Today in this video we're going to be going over the installation for the Burger Motorsports Juice Box System, more appropriately known as the JB4 for the F30-335i, this is the N55 EWG model and we're going to go ahead and get started. Now what you're going to see is the exact unit that I had on the car, we had to take it off for some service uh, requirements but we're going to be putting it back on so I'm going to bring you guys along so you can see exactly the correct procedure. Let's get started. So starting from first, you can have the you have the actual JB4 unit itself, and then we have a slew of wiring. Now this is the OBD connection uh, connector that will go into your OBD uh, OBD2 port inside your vehicle, and this cable connects into this. As you can see, it's just a four-pin wire or two-pin wire with a four-pin connector, so that just goes into the connector itself. Now this wire is a blank. If if can be used with PWG models. If you have a pneumatic wastegate, you connect this into that specific socket, and that will work from there. Thereafter, you have these three other connectors, which is here. This will connect up to your your car's fuel rail. This will connect up to your car's uh, MAF or mass airflow sensor, and this will connect to your TMAP sensor, which is found on your charge pipe. Now, for additional an additional upgrade, you can get. This this is a BMW 3.5 bar T map sensor which allows you to uh, which will allow you to run a higher boost level so you do not have any drivetrain errors. This T map sensor is held onto the charge pipe by two T20 torque screws. Now that you can find you can use any type of uh, screwdriver or small end uh, f uh, tool so you can get those screws out and you can install your T map sensor. Now before you do anything you need to remove the negative terminal from your battery let the vehicle completely lose all power so that you do not have any errors once you're putting this on now i've been running this system for about a, a year now and i never had any problems with it apart from running it on the second map which is an, an octane file we ran it on normal pump fuel and that's where the trouble started now there are some firmware updates that you can get so they can update i will do that for a later stage there's some other stuff i want to get for the unit like i want to get the bluetooth connector and some other uh, peripherals for it but without further ado guys, let's get started with this video and in installing it into this car. Thank you. 
So guys, the team app sensor is installed. 3.5 bar sensor is installed. So now let's get into the main thing. Let's get into the installation of the JB4 system. Now the wires are cut, are set to length, so you know exactly which wires go where. And I'm going to show you guys exactly which one goes where, so you can follow the steps to the video. Let's get into it. You have the mass airflow sensor, which is found here. At the back of it here, we have the fuel rail connector, and on this. On the charge pipe itself, you have the T-MAP sensor which plugs into this specific wire right here. I disconnected right now because I changed the T-MAP sensor. And this goes into this. It only, all plugs fit only one way, so you don't have to worry about which plugs go away. So let's get into, into the installation. Now with all those plugs connected, we're just going to neaten up the harness and get everything tucked in. We got the fuel rail connected, we have the MAF, uh, mass airflow sensor connected and we have the charge pipe connected with the T-MAP sensor which is down there with the new 3.5 bar sensor. We have the wires run nice and neatly over here which will get covered up by the engine cover and we have the JB4 units safely secured down there. Now also if you notice, I'm not sure if you can see this. Okay. 
in this hole here we have the OBD connection which is run through here and connected up to the JB4 unit. From the JB4 unit you're going to have your OBD connection which is up here, it's connected over here. It runs through the vehicle and plugs directly into your OBD port like that. And from there, you just bear in mind this will not close afterwards. So you just have to keep that in mind. So now I'm going to tuck this inside. Okay, now that that's tucked in, we can go ahead and drive through one of two things. One, you can either start the car and check if there's no errors and then before you can put everything back. Or if you're confident with what you have done, you can put the engine covers back on and we can get started. I'm just going to connect the battery up first. by placing the negative terminal in here. And I'm going to be tightening up the number 10 nut. Now once you unplug the battery, you, will, you are required to set the time and date. Now that is because of the map sensor. Okay, now that we have everything plugged in, we have everything started, we're going to start the vehicle and we'll check if there's any errors. Starting it up now. Well, that was a fail. It turns out that the T-Map sensor that I've installed is giving a drivetrain error. So I'm going to be putting back our original sensor, which shouldn't take me less than about five minutes. So I'm going to be doing that. And then we're going to go back and start this whole procedure again. Everything else is installed. Everything else is working appropriately. So it's just a matter of plugging the sensor back on and hopefully that drivetrain error goes away. The battery has been disconnected. So I'm just going to put that on and let's get started with that. So as you can see, I have the 3.5 bar sensor. This was causing the drivetrain error. I put the original sensor back in. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and see if it still gives an error. Okay, take two. As you can see, we have no errors. So I'm gonna start the vehicle. And right now it's only saying that the bonnet is open, door is open, the boot is open, and the time and date is not set. So let's go ahead and enter the JB system. Right now we're on map 5, which is, as you can see here, it's 0. That means you're in menu selection. So I'm going to go into number 4, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 is code, code, uh, code is removing, so let's go ahead and do that. And hold. All codes have been removed. So now I'm going to go back into JB. That means exhaust flap is open. Can you get close? And I'm going to switch into map number two. And let's give it a guess. We tested everything, we know everything is working. Let's go ahead and close up everything here and we can enjoy the vehicle.
Well, there you have it, guys. That's a complete installation guide on how to install the JBX Core system on your N55 2013 EWG model. Now, this is the right hand drive, you can obviously see that. And the differences are it's going to be a much more different if it's left hand drive or, or if it's a manual vehicle. Now, also bearing in mind that whatever you do, it's all at your own risk. This installation guide is based on how it's meant to be installed following the installation guide from JB4 and Burger Motorsport website. So with that being said guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, leave your comments on in the comment section down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Peace.